There's just one week until Chattanooga City Council decides whether to allow health benefits for domestic partnerships and same-sex couples. This afternoon at a public forum, people on both sides of the issue sounded off. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now with what happened in the chambers that were packed to full capacity. Alyssa. That's right, Kim Josh. Chattanooga City Council made it clear that tonight was everyone's last chance to be heard before they vote on the ordinance next week. Tonight, we hear from a 26-year city employee at the center of the issue and why she says Chattanooga needs to lead the way. Corliss Cooper is a lieutenant for the Chattanooga Police Department, a 26-year veteran who takes a stand for what she believes in. For those 26 years, I had to stand by and watch as my co-workers be able to enjoy the benefits for their spouses, and I can't. So now there's an opportunity for me to be able to provide for my spouse while I'm still alive because the only way that she'll be able to benefit is if I die because she'll get my pension. So many people wanted to be a part of the hearing. The fire marshal had to turn them away. An overflow room was created outside. Things got heated when council members began discussing Tennessee's definition of marriage. It's been seen as a, a foundational force for a productive society in more ways than one. Now, you don't answer that. No, I don't, don't answer no, that. Just, uh, but I failed to hear a question. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to have some order here. Thank you. I think you've had three or four questions. No, sir, you have, you're complete at this time. Okay. That's wrong. That's your opinion. And if you. That's quite all right. I'll, I'll follow up. An hour and a half later, it was the public's turn to speak. It is a good thing for this city to be debating this. And it is a good thing that I think that this city is going to pass the domestic partners benefits plan. Because what this is going to do is this is going to support families. The city council is prohibited by law from passing any ordinance which goes against state law and our state constitution. The proposed ordinance is in direct contradiction to the spirit and text of Article 11, Section 18 of our state constitution. As for Cooper, she hopes next week's vote will make history. We need to start, you know, thinking big as a city and growing as other cities do. The ordinance won't just affect same-sex couples, but any city employee who's living with another person. To be eligible under the new ordinance, you must show proof that you have lived with your partner for at least a year. Council will vote on the proposal for the first time next Tuesday, November 12th. If it passes, it will go for a second reading the following week. Now if that passes, employees will be able to add their partners until July 1st of next year. Josh. Alyssa, thank you. City Attorney Wade Hinton says the ordinance would cost the city $168,000 more per year. That would be a 1% increase in the city's budget for health benefits.